video is brought to you by Squarespace. Oh my goodness, we are now in the middle of the flowers. <laughs> it's pretty incredible. Where are you taking me? <laughs> it's Rocket's first off-road adventure. It looks like the Sydney Opera House. Okay, we should go see mom first. <laughs> Thani. You just can't help yourself with this Isa music, right? Yeah, the Isa in me <laughs> is coming and out. And you gotta get the hips moving. <laughs> Isa people party is really early. Yeah, it's 9. <laughs> yeah. Not even 9 a.m. right now. Mm -hmm. We are here at the... Tale Bua Deng or the Red Lotus Lake. When we first moved to Thailand, maybe six, seven years ago now, we already seen the name Tale Bua Deng. And we've always wanted to come check out this lake because it is like a hidden gem. Mm -hmm. But the uh, coming has never been Yeah, because the season for when the flowers are blooming is actually quite short. It's uh, December until March, but right now it's the perfect time to go. So let's uh, find ourselves a boat to go check out the lake. I think you can just go and grab one here. There's a ticket booth. Here it says big boat, six people max, 500 baht, and then the small boat is two for two people max. That's pretty 300 good. 300 baht. That's pretty good price. Yeah. Let's get a small one. Nang lue ni nan mai kap? Two About an hour. Oh, okay. Oh, oh they're gonna take a photo. <laughs> they're taking a photo of us. <laughs> We've done these kind of boat tours uh -huh. before, and they just love taking a photo in the beginning of the tour, and then at the end, they have it all ready framed for you to buy. Oh, That's so this cute. one. Wow, this looks cozy, babe. Wow. You want to go to the back or you want to stay at the front? Uh, I'll go to the back. <laughs> <laughs> Is it comfy? Yeah. You can sit right here. <sighs> wow, that's Ow. perfect. I'm sorry. <laughs> closer to the water. It's a lot lower. It's quite cozy, isn't it? <laughs> Boom. Look over to your left. Oh my goodness. Wow. I can just see like the pink all on the top there. And we're not even out far yet. Uh -huh, that's beautiful. Oh, look, look, look. Wow. What kind of person though? <laughs> They look like half bird, half uh, turkey. <laughs> Just don't have any sudden movements because it tilts yeah. so easily, the boat. But look, they stand on there like it's such a firm patch of land or something. <laughs> oh, you can see in the distance. You can see in the distance, all oh, of pink. that is pink. It's not really the red lotus lake. It's like the pink, pink lotus lake. <laughs> Actually, it's not even lotus. I read online that these are tropical water lilies. So someone completely named the lake wrong. <laughs> Goodness, we are now in the middle of the flowers. <laughs> it's fully bloomed. It's so beautiful. They're prettier than lotus flowers because they have more, what you call, leaves. Mm -hmm. But that's why you have to come early in the morning because they're only open, uh, I think, from the morning until 12. Like when it gets too really? hot, they close. Dog, my pony, man, hope, don't come one. Oh, Kimong, how home? 
Oh, you're yeah, right. They close at he 11. He said 11, not even 12. So right now it's still nine. It's perfect. And how big is the lake again? It is eight kilometers long and three kilometers wide. Like I can't see the end of the pink flower. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. local tourists, but also uh, foreign tourists to visit. So it's become sort of a hidden gem in the northeastern area of Thailand that people love to come to visit. And we are back. Are you excited to see our photo? Yeah. Come <laughs> Kumaka! <laughs> and they're still partying. Partying hard, all day, all night. Oh. I think uh, our photo is the only one left. Sadika. Oh, it's actually really cute. It's not bad. How much is it? It's quite cute. It's a hundred. If it was five hundred, I would say no. How many? Yeah. Okay. Float them, ma'am. Oh, it's for the for the community. Oh, okay. So okay. the money goes into this boating uh, association. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Can you see it again? It's actually pretty good. Yeah. We both look great. Oh my god, so hot. So did you think it was worth the drive? Yes. It was only around what, 45 minutes mm -hmm. from the city center of Udon Thani, which is where we stayed last night. And if you were also wanting to come here, um, of course we came with our currently still trusty old Rocky, but you can also come by taxi. I think you wouldn't be wanting to pay more than 1500 baht uh, return for a taxi, so they'll, they'll wait for you while you go on your boat trip. But you can also check with your hotel to see if they can arrange some sort of tour that they could pick you up and then drop you back off. And I think those ones probably start early, like uh, pick up at 7 or 7.30. But it's worth a visit if you are going to the city of Udon Thani. But this uh, Red Sea, I mean Red Lotus Sea is not our main destination for today. So we are driving from here. Uh, all the way to Nakom Panom, which is where Note's mom and her husband lives for the winter months of the year. And we <laughs> are really putting Rocket to the test. Yeah, it's going to be about four hours, maybe four to five hours. Yeah. So we'll hours. give Rocky a break, I think, for a part of the trip. But this is going to be the longest drive, driving day for Rocket since we've got everything fixed. Check. Good luck everyone! <laughs> you got it Rocky! Real quick, once again thank you to Squarespace for continuing to support our channel and for making it super easy for beginners like us to create a beautiful website. Whether you need a portfolio website, an online store, or a personal blog, you can use Squarespace's award-winning templates to get started. There is so much you can do to your website. You can add videos, add your social media, manage a store, and they keep rolling out with new features. And with the easy to use drag and drop editor, you can design your page exactly the way you want it to look. 
Just head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash floor and note to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to the video. You hungry? Getting there. Let's uh, grab something to eat. I look on Google map and I think there's a grilled chicken place up there. Grilled chicken? Isan grilled chicken? Chicken and some tam. Nice. We haven't had that yet. No. We have to have that. Are all these yellow signs yeah. leading up to the chicken? Uh -huh. What does it say? It said Kai Yang Bishan Bori. Wow, it's a real street style. <laughs> Just park right here. Are those real or a fake chicken? They're real. <laughs> oh, they're nice and hot. Sky tour, how much? 120 baht each. That looks so good, and it's like golden brown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is real street food. <laughs> this is highway food. You hear like cars and trucks go by in the back. Oh right? my god. It's, it's so, so tender. <laughs> and it's not fat at all. It's like the crispy skin is so thin. How? How is the chicken so perfect? And this is not even like a a famous place or anything, literally just on the side of the highway. Isan food just hit different in mm. Isan. Sap! Sap in it up. <laughs> Which means um, very... What's sap? It's very delicious spicy. and spicy. Yeah. It's so spicy that you go... Like that. <laughs> Hi guys! You wiggling your tail. Here, over here. Over there. there <laughs> this one for you. Okay. So if we have left over, then we can share with them too, yeah? Yeah. You guys are so cute. My only concern about eating this is that I will get sleepy. Oh, sticky rice. you get sticky rice coma. <laughs> yeah. When I was in the army, I used to eat sticky rice every day for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. I don't know how I survive that and not being sleepy and be able to train. Where are you taking me? <laughs> this is another hidden gem you found? Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure where we are. I um, was just zooming in, zooming in on the Google map and we were pretty close to this white lotus temple and it looked amazing. It's certainly another hidden gem of Udon Thani because not, not many reviews or anything, but the Google map directions to get there seem a bit confused. Off. Yeah, so I don't know how we ended up here, but we are literally seven minutes away apparently. We just don't see anything that looks remotely like a lake around here. Just a lot of dry rice fields and a lot of starving cows because there's nothing to eat. It's so, so, so dry. dry around here. It's supposed to be a floating temple, right? Yeah, so it needs a lake or some sort of um, man-made body of water, I guess. สวัสดีครับวัดดอกวัวสีขาวครับไปทางนี้หรือเปล่าพี่ครับขึ้นไปทางนี้ครับโอ้ทางนี้ไปไม่ได้เหรอครับได้แต่มันไกลนะพี่อ๋อออ๋อได้ครับขอบคุณมากครับผมขอบคุณค่ะ We have to turn around we came the wrong way oh there's a bike there this might be it Made 
made it. Finally made it. <laughs> kind of appeared out of nowhere. It's huge. It looks like the Sydney Opera House. We're at the entrance of the temple now and protecting the temple are two Nagas and Nagas are mythical creatures. They are serpents that basically don't let any of the negative energy, the bad energy to enter the temple. So they're here to stand guard and protect it. And you know in Udon Thani people believe that here is the origin of Naga. This is where Naga lives. There is a place in Udon Thani where they consider it a gateway to the underworld where Naga lives. So people here worship Naga. Is this where um, you told me on the news one time that someone said there is a Naga under their house? <laughs> so uh, they dug up their house? Yeah. Is, is it? <laughs> There's the lady in Isan somewhere. I'm not sure if it's Udon Tani, huh. but she went to a fortune teller. And the fortune teller said, there's a naga living under your house. You need to... Like release it? Release it. Release the bad luck. So she dug up her house. And they didn't find naga. But she... Now she's homeless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't laugh, but then... <laughs> well, they take it very seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully the community helped her rebuild her house. <laughs> shape of the windows you can see they're like lotus shape. yeah lotus petals and there's eight eight windows here so the symbol of this temple here the white lotus is quite important for buddhism because a white lotus symbolizes um, resilience and purity because the flower normally grows out of like mud under like murky water and it rises up above all of that and becomes a beautiful flower quite like the human nature like humans we are grown to go through like suffering that's like the murky water the mud and then we can rise above that and become a lotus She still have her uh, Christmas tree up. <laughs> Maybe she wanted to uh, light it up so we can recognize the house. <laughs> yeah, I'll go park right beside it. You did a great job, babe. Rocket did a great job. It's so funny because I think your mom's house is the only one in Nakampanom that has both a Christmas tree and a Canadian flag on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She said during Christmas, uh -huh. all the villagers around here came to take photos here. She also put like a huge Santa Claus like or Like a blow-up Santa. Yeah. Okay, let's go see mom. Hello. Who's that? Is that Jasmine? Are you Jasmine? You're new. Last time we were here, you weren't here. Are you Jasmine? Where's mom? Do you know where mom is? Oh? Okay, we 
triple C mum. <laughs> Neither house that why we turn on the Christmas light. Oh, that's. Yeah. Awesome. I actually said that to note. I was like, I feel like they turned it on for us. Cheers. 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 All the cats. <laughs> All the cats. All the cats. <laughs>